Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Diamond Series. Today is a quiet week in Idle Heroes. I'm sure many of you have done absolutely nothing during this Geister event. And uh, yeah, probably a dead event for everyone, really. We will go ahead and grab a Holmes Young copy. That'll be quite nice. But apart from that, not much to enjoy, really. Everything's just pretty chill. We do, however, have Aspen Dungeon to enjoy, and we can do some more things with our Lord of Fear Aspen. So not all is lost. Let's see what this bad boy can do. We've got a Rui Scepter, we've got Speed Attack, and we've got the Enabling Growth on him. So he should be pretty good at doing this. Quite looking forward to seeing what we can get from there. Let's go double check the Cloud Island to make sure we've got ourselves whatever bonuses are coming through here. And it looks like we can upgrade something. So let's go see what that is. So we can upgrade the Onkiramaru house. We can upgrade the Carry house. And we can upgrade Drake here. That's nice. We've also got Star Expedition this week. So maybe we can do some smash through this as well. Let's go double check. Um, if we can. Uh, yeah, we absolutely can. So this should be pretty fun to go and see what we can do on here. So we're going to put together a little team for Star Expedition in a bit as well. So let's look at our imprints real quick. Uh, potentially put something together with Osis for maximum damage. That's probably going to be where we go. Not got that much good stuff for Osis yet, but slowly ticking through and we'll see what we can do. So priority number one is going to be getting ourselves uh, some progress in Aspen Dungeon, I think. Or even, maybe it is Star Expedition first. What do you think? We go Star Expedition first to get rewards? That might be a good idea. That that could be pretty fun. So, let's look around. We might need to go and build ourselves... Can we get the final tenant for Aspen here? Can we get a Mockman at any point? No, I'm so low on dark food. That's never going to happen. Okie dokie. Right, in that case, let's go put something to good use then. Let's go ahead and do some Star Expedition. So we're going to need a team for Star Expedition, and we're going to need some good artifacts. So we need to build Lord of Fear Aspen for damage. We're going to go with Melodic Strings, as that's pretty good. We've got Crit Crit Attack. That's absolutely fine. We'll go all the damage stuff. We probably want Balance Strike, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. And I'll still go with Control Purify because we're using the Osis strategy, which is the strategy I would encourage most of you to go ahead and use. Now, we're going to need an E5 Ignis. That is one thing that definitely should be in our build priority at some point. When it comes to Ignis copies, we actually don't have that many. Or any at all, in all fairness. And am I getting any from the Gate of the Void? That's probably an important question as well. So if we go to the Compass of Transcended, we're still going for Rogans. How many Rogans do we have? We've got a 10-star... Okay, I have all the Rogans I need. Oh, fantastic. So in that case... I'm going to go Compass of Transcended. We're going to swap Rogan to Ignis to get more Ignis copies. Mockman's here as well, just because he's what we're awakening. And let's just do a 10 bomb, all in guidance. Let's see if I can get a ton of good stuff. Here we go. Bang! Look at that. Ignis and Transcending Sphere. Nice. So that's good that we claimed those rewards. We got 700,000 when it comes to our crystals. So we're not very close to another Transcendence here at all. And. Let's have a little look. What else can we do? Well, we've got a nine star here, so we could start making a little bit of progress elsewhere. Hmm. Elite Hero Shards. Okay, Olivia. That's actually really nice. We could use her. Not today, though. And do I have any way of getting dark elite heroes? I wonder. Let's go Seal Land. Because we've got this, which we can buy. No, I should probably prioritize just buying this. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. I mean, I, I would maybe want to consider trying to get some carry from there. It's not going to be a good idea. Right, so we just got this one carry down here. Let's just take it to level 100. So we're going to want her to resurrect over and over again. So we've got carry, carry. I might use Drake. I've never used Drake in Star Expedition before, so I have no idea how that's going to play out. We'll definitely want Ignis. We'll probably want a second Ignis. We'll use Waldeck as well. And um, yeah, we'll just make sure we've built the Lord of Fear Aspen for damage. So quick crit attack, a lot of strings. And ah, yeah, here we go. Holy damage, crit damage, and probably precision in all fairness. Let's go with that to maximize our damage potential. Armor break could also be good. And where are we at now then? Crit damage is at 115. So with Phoenix, that's 125. No, 135 even. Okay. Uh, so that's actually quite a good spot to be on. So yeah, I think we should go ahead and put this to the test. So let's enter into the Star Expedition and let's begin fighting some of these waves. Let's see what our little team can actually do. So we're going to go with our preset lineups here and see how we battle against these guys. So we got a victory there. That's nice. Going to pull for ourselves. Okay, we've got not a lot of good stuff coming through. We're mainly after OSIS equipment. So anything that says OSIS on it, 
is going to be our main focus for today. Nan's Foresight, that's pretty huge, actually. We'll definitely get that. That was nice. We'll probably be using that. Uh, Cos's stuff is always nice. And what do we get here? Bull's Destiny. Cute, but let's go with the Cos stuff. I'm not going to grab that. Um, Carl's Foresight. Cool. All right. So that boss is beaten. So I guess now we're going to go and do the Hidden Volcano. And go fight this. Here we go. Smack. Oh, defeated. Oh, whoa. Is that just Valkyrie wrecking me? Am I just dying instantly? When we put control on Valk? Yo, it could be. Oh my word, yeah. And Amon Ra's bubbles just gives them insane healing. Dude. We hardly touched that wave. They literally healed up. Oh, and then we just win? What? Uh, uh, okay. Um, weird game. Oh, no, I'm a bozo. I'm using a preset lineup. Yeah, that's, that's dumb. Forget that. No, leave. There we go. Much better. <laughs> El Bozo MK. Um, and we'll... Wow, now that they're boosted up, that's actually quite nice. We'll get rid of Onkiramaru, though. And yeah, there we go. Right, that should be somewhat good, I hope. Yeah, that looks fine. And we've got we've got Wolf here. That's interesting, but I want the damage, so we're going to go with Snake. I still get defeated. Rude. I meant Phoenix, right? Did I say Snake because I meant Phoenix? Just, just casually saying everything wrong today. God, what's wrong with me, guys? I'm broken. Send me back to the shop. I need a fix. Defeated. Sounds about right. It's Amon Ra again. Always that Amon Ra wave. Every time. Oh, dear. Well, let's see if we got anything good here. So we're going to go for Osis. Well, that's that's an improvement immediately. That's nice. This is all... No, oh, it's all kind of, kind of bad. Right, Nans. Let's go. We've got... Nan's Persuasion, yep. We probably want Nan's Foresight. Much more than Nan's Destiny. We don't need extra crit. All right, let's go put this to the test then against Star Expedition. We want Ignis. We want Aspen. We could at least use Drake, I suppose. And I'm going to go and try with a little baby carry here. The result, I have no idea. So we might as well see what happens. We're hoping that the carries will die and resurrect over and over and over again and get loads of buffs and then we wreck the boss. Oh. Well, survival is hard, it seems. Uh, trying to live is um, a challenge. So let's put a bending will on Aspen to see if that makes any difference. And, uh, yeah, poor Ignis. I mean, she hasn't even got a stone. <laughs> oh, this is so min-maxed. I, uh, do I put a stone on Ignis? No, I just need to commit to an E5 version of her. But that requires nine copies, because I'd rather keep a ten star and have a nine star as well. Oh, man. Star Expedition is going to be, it's going to be hard, man. Very hard. And are we doing scrolls today? D dude. Uh, why would we anniversaries in two months I was screaming until I was blue in the face saying whatever you do don't do scrolls this week and here you're like oh we're we doing scrolls why on earth would we do scrolls this week <laughs> oh Aspen let's go he did a little bit more damage that time 12 billion Woo! Did, was that even significant I, I, I doubt it and uh, there you go. I've used my attempts for today. Oh, fantastic. Let's go see if I got actually any rewards for what I did there. No, not, not at all. So now it's time to go put Aspen into the Aspen dungeon. So we're going to go speed attack. We're going to slap a Rui Scepter on him. And we're going to build him... Actually, maybe we don't go speed attack. We went speed attack last time. I want to try crit crit attack. I think we, uh, I think we should give this a spin. We got Control Purify. What could possibly go wrong? We're 2140 on speed, so I am going to bump up speed a little bit to take us to 2180. Maybe that's going to work? 
I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if this is actually going to be good in Aspen Dungeon Purgatory. It's all for science at the end of the day. So make sure we got some good equipment on our heroes. Yeah, that should be fine. And what's our attack stat? 1.24 million. So it's not particularly high. But that's because our tenants aren't particularly high either. So yeah, let's uh, let's go spin this out then. Aspen Dungeon time. Put in our heroes, but obviously we're going to be mainly using Aspen here. And try to get above 2178. Well, it's good we're on 2180, so we are above that. With crit crit attack, so should be a fun time. Let's see how this goes. Okay, nice. CCing the opponents and wrecking them. Great to see. All right, here we go. Drake time. Should be pretty good. Ooh, we got bonked, but we're fine. Defense down wasn't very nice. Eloise should be able to deal with her quite nicely. Just got to do a decent enough active skill. Bang, there you go. A little bit risky on our HP there. I'm bending will did get triggered, but it's good that we've got it. Let's just say that. Oh dear. Uh, a wave with Penny in it. This this smells like a demon potion wave. Yeah, I'm going to demon potion here. A little bit terrified. That, that was good. That was good. Get Penny out of there. Don't even want to risk it against her. And see who Ah, oh, with Carrie Russell. This is a wave that's going to wreck us. So we need to Demon Potion. Can Aspen get us high up on the leaderboard for Purgatory? We're dazzled, which is bad news against that Russell. Oh my word. No, 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 no. Russell. Uh, balls. Freaking dazzle, bro. Well, there's another wonderful, successful Purgatory push with our Lord of Fear Aspen. We had such a successful time. Need need lucky candy bar? Get get out of here. No, Bobby, no, that's that's not true. Right? We're just in a nice, quiet, steady place where we're you know we're doing great. I mean, look, look, but besides what just happened there, look, Realmsgate, Realmsgate is actually going really, really well. Look, see, I'm gonna skip the battle. Bonk! Win! Sigmund! Boom! Ta-da! Dead. So you know what? Forget that I died to Purgatory oh. at, at Amon Roz. You know, so, sometimes that happens too. But look, victory. Yeah, see, it's not always disaster. And uh, yeah, so this has gone fine. So we just got to slowly but surely keep our Void Corruption coming up. We'll eventually get to Void Corruption 100. It's just a real steady slow grind. And eventually, guys, once we do that, we can start seeing ourselves with uh, some decent materials coming from here, actually. Uh, would I recommend to you guys ever to do what I've done on the Diamond series? The only thing I would have done differently is I would have built Eloise early so that I would have had good progress in the game early on. So that actually when we set up for everything, like building this Lord of Fear Aspen, for example, we've actually got a lot of the stuff already done, like Void Corruption at level 100. What's nice, though, is next time we're going to go ahead and fight the Void Vortex. So we're going to see how far we can get there. And we could see a huge push. Maybe we're going to get eventually all the way up to uh, the bottom of Vanquisher. Maybe we'll get to Fire done. Maybe we'll just die to pennies like I did just there. And yeah, there's all sorts of options for this Lord of Fear Aspen. So yeah, the Diamond Series is just going to take it steady from now until Anniversary. Maybe there's going to be some huge events coming up. We've got a Gala coming up soon, actually. So that's nice. So I can use my B Stone. Don't know who I'm going to put that in. Could put that in. Maybe Lord of Fear Aspen get another good copy. I'm not sure. And uh, here we go. We've hit the mine. That's the main reason I was just doing this manually. And let's see who it needs me to put in the mine. Because if it's someone that I actually use on this team, I'm going to be a little upset. Here we go. It wants... Ah, oh, cool. I'll just put on Kiramaru in there. Perfect. Because that's not going to affect me. Not at all. Nice. So there you go, folks. It's been a pretty quiet one on the Diamond Series. Nothing too crazy. Just us mucking around. Doing normal stuff. Galactic trees just going as normal. Obviously, uh, we can't really take much up. Don't have those materials there. And just waiting for good stuff to come through. Can we upgrade this boy? We absolutely can, so we can improve our crowd control on Lord of Fear Aspen. And um, and that's it. So, yeah. Hopefully, um, things will perk up. Obviously, it's just a quiet one this week because we've got no event. But potentially with bigger events coming soon. And as I said, that B-stone in our bag 
being given an opportunity to open up, we should see more stuff in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Not all episodes are going to be this short, but just today is a quiet one. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good week. And of course, happy idling.